What's up guys and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'm going to show you how I make this amazing, delicious honey garlic salmon. I make salmon on here a lot and I know y'all probably sick of it, but I'm not. <laughs> Let's get into the recipe. These are some of the ingredients you will need. The salmon, the garlic, lots and lots of garlic, the honey of course. I'm also going to use some salt and my spice which is spicy girl this spice will be available for sale this friday on my website all links will be below so these are the ingredients for the spinach which is the side is garlic onions peppers and spinach so first to make the sauce you want to melt some butter down add the big old thing of garlic <laughs> it's a lot of garlic y'all i love garlic but it's it's up to you you can use less or more but i love the garlic that's about a whole entire bulb of garlic so I'm going to season my salmon while my garlic is cooking up in the pot. I'm going to use my spice as well as some salt as my seasoning is low in sodium. And this sauce is kind of sweet. So you want to balance that with a little more salt. So I'm going to add the honey to my garlic just like this. And once that honey hits that hit the pot, you already know what, what happens. The smell is insane. I'm also going to add the juice of one entire lemon. I forgot to show that in the beginning. Mix that up just like this. It looks great. Next, you want to just add your salmon. You're going to cover it on medium-low heat, which is number four, and allow it to steam and cook. After about seven minutes, this is what it looks like, and you want to start basting it with the sauce, just like this. Remember, this is medium heat. Do not cook this on high heat. You need it to have time to cook and steam and develop the flavor. So my stove is currently on number four. So now we're on to the spinach. I'm going to saute the onions and the peppers just like this for about five minutes. You really want to break that down. And then you're going to add the garlic and saute that again for another two minutes as well as season it how you prefer. But I will be using salt and spicy girl once again, just like this. So you want to saute it up and mix it up, get it nice and combined. And then I'm going to start adding the spinach right on top. Again, you guys, you can season this however you want to. You know, as long as you have your onions, peppers, and garlic, you're good to go. Pile of spinach right on top. <laughs> Did I have to throw it like that? <laughs> anyway, back to the salmon. I had to come back real quick to make sure I wasn't losing my salmon. But y'all, look at this. Look at this. Share. When y'all gonna hire me to cook for y'all? Huh? Y'all celebrities out there. Instagram models, what's up? <laughs> anyway, back to the spinach. This is what it looks like, and it's pretty much done. I like it nice and green. You can green, green. You can continue to cook it, you guys, but I like it nice and green. And I'm just going to plate it up just like this and enjoy it. I'm gonna taste it at the end and let you guys know what I think. Alright y'all, so this is the food up close and my water. Ooh, yes. Look how juicy. My salmon is always juicy, y'all. Listen, if you ever invite me over to your house to eat, just know, don't give me no dry salmon because I'm not going to eat it. Look how juicy this is because it's steamed in that honey, the butter, the lemon juice, the spice. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Believe me, I'm not surprised by how delicious it is. Look how perfect that salmon is. Mm -mm -mm. I hope you give this recipe a try. Let me try the spinach. The spinach is my favorite part too. I know a lot of people don't like spinach, but if you try it this way with the garlic and the onions and the peppers, you might like it, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Bye, you guys. I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.